right guys, thanks for joining us. So today we've got a golf ball comparison thanks to one of our awesome viewers, yep. um, Patrick, otherwise known as Hogan Disciple. Sent us in some cut golf balls. Yeah, we've been looking to test this ball as, as part of the kind of underdog brands that are out there. Yeah. Um, these sort of online uh, offerings, uh, a bit like Vice, Encore, Encore. that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to test it for a while, and unfortunately, we you know reached out to to cut themselves. We never heard back from them. So um, thanks to the, the for awesome that community happen, that yeah. we have. Yeah. Patrick obviously had some and was kind enough to send some in, which is, which is great. awesome. So Patrick, thank you so much for doing that. Um, yeah, it, we want to do it for a while. For sure. So I mean, I think the the story of these they've been out for a little while. Yep. This brand, and as you mentioned, a couple others. Sure. The you know the sales pitches is. is is pretty clear and it's understandable why it's doing well. Yep. These are around 20 bucks a dozen. It's very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. Uh, you can deliver them to your house. Yep. Uh, four piece urethane ball, so it's gonna be comparable to something like a Pro V1X or whatever. Sure. They have other models, but mm -hmm. a massive cost savings. Yeah. So people wanna know, are they as good or at least close to as good? And can I save myself 30 bucks a dozen, yeah. basically? So uh, we found with Vice and Encore, and I can't remember the third one we tested, but- We done Snell, didn't we? Snell, sorry. All those balls were really good. Yeah. Um, these might be a little bit cheaper. I don't remember the other ones being quite this cheap, to be honest. Well, with that you know, there's this there's a really lot cheap. of uh, sort of volume discounts that you can yeah. get with it. I mean, if you go up to you can go up to ten of, dozen, yeah, ten dozen, get them for like less 17 than seventeen bucks a, box. bucks a dozen. I mean, that's cheap. It's really cheap. Yeah, really, you, I mean, really honestly, cheap. even if you bought one box for twenty bucks, yeah. it's cheap. U.S. dollars we're talking about. It's still yeah. a lot less. Split, so. them among, uh, split them amongst the the boys. Yeah, the, your the buddies group, uh, for the season. Take Depends advantage of that. Who loses the most, but. So Very we're going to test it against the XV, Srixon XV, yeah, also a four-piece ball. That made sense to us because A, it's your golf ball. Yeah, so we know what it does. We know what it does. Uh, B, it's also four-piece. Mm -hmm. um, now, the compression uh, of this golf ball is a little lower. Uh, this is a 90 compression golf ball. So I mean it's softer? Yep. Okay. A little bit, yeah, a little bit easier to compress, that sort of thing. So we have seen in the past with lower uh, compression golf balls that you have actually lost a little ball speed, right. over compressed them. Slightly. I'll be very curious to see if that happens with this one, but mm -hmm. uh, we're going to test it with a wedge, a mid iron, and a driver. And a driver. Give us a, a, good, a good sort of overall balanced view of what the golf ball does. For sure. All right. Um, what do you want to hit first? Let's hit, uh, let's hit some wedges, work through okay. some irons, and then work up to some drivers. Okay, we'll start with the, um, you want to start with the cutter, or you want to start with the Srixon? Let's go Srixon. Okay. So 54 degree wedge. Yeah. Um, do you want to hit a specific yardage, Matty? Or yeah, like well, put the green around 115 is 115. good for this. Yeah, that should be perfect. Perfecto. All right. Okay. Okay, Srixon XV first. Your wedge game has been on point recently. The first shot is always good lately. <laughs> Literally could not draw a line that straight. <laughs> Nicely done. Similar? Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Well, it's left it a hair open. How'd you hit those? First one perfect, last two were good, just, just left it a just hair open. Them. Okay. Nothing but nothing wrong with them. Be happy with any of those. Okay, Matty, so uh, I'm just gonna get, get a quick peek at the table here and see what I'm looking at, so. Okay, 11,168 average spin. 28 launch, pretty much exactly what we always get. Yeah. Come out lower. You think, yeah? Which could mean it spins more. It definitely spun more. Oh wow. Really good. That. So almost two degrees lower and a thousand more spin. That's that's a lot. That's zippy. Is this a Kirkland or yeah. <laughs> it, to be honest with you, it kinda looks like a Kirkland. <laughs> <laughs> the same uh, looking cover It's as got a the same looking cover, it really does. Do you hit that pure? Not perfect, but not, I don't know, not bad, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us complaining about shots that are one foot from the hole. Yeah, launch went up wow. a degree. No, that's still zipping, isn't it? I, yeah, I didn't hit that perfect, but it was pretty good. That struck better. That was struck really nicely. 
turn it over slightly so I'd expect it to spin a bit less, but still. Holy, that really spins. It's a full thousand more. Launch a little lower, but a thousand spins a lot. A lot. Kirkland That's territory. If I maybe recall. Not, maybe not quite yet. Were we up to like almost 13? Yeah. We got to retest that, but still, yeah. it was goofy, wasn't it? It was, it was crazy. Right. All six right. irons? Six irons with Strix on first. That's interesting, though. That was a pretty immediate difference in ball flight, wasn't it? How was the, uh, were you able to gauge the field yet or no? Uh, they didn't feel, he I mean, it's, it's going to sound really stupid, but they, they physically felt like they were spinning more. Like they kind of, kind of felt like the ball got a little more compressed, I guess, yeah. on the wedge. A little softer. Uh, a little bit. Softer yeah. feel. Which I guess would make sense. There's obviously must have been more friction going on if, the, if it spun an extra thousand, right? Definitely. Well, that compression playing a role as well. Mm. Um, the amount of the ball squeezing. Mm -hmm. Solid. Kaboom. Nice. Tip pretty well. Similar. Maybe a fraction lower in the face. Yep, it's good too. Yeah, that was those three nice ones. Take those. That's a little more proper. I mean, look at that. It's not going to make the green. There's no way. Is that spinning that much? Yeah, it's a thousand. It's about a thousand more. What? Dude, that's insanity. How is that even possible? Thirteen hundred? That is outrageous. Maybe <laughs> with the same ball speed. Yeah. Ten yard reduction. I've never seen a golf ball spin that different than a six iron. On a six iron. I don't even think the AVX had that much difference. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Good. Sounded nice. Really good too. I would imagine that'd be a little flatter, but I don't know. It seems like it's Barely. just. Barely. Yeah, it's low just getting sixes there. probably. That is, what? This is fascinating. I haven't spun a six iron over 6,000 spin in, since the first day I came in here. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> and I had to crank those lofts in the old ap <laughs> When you made me a three iron for my six iron because yeah. my spin was so high. Let me help you out, Matty. <laughs> That's outrageous. Look at the launch, so. Wow. Launch coming in lower, spin rising up. Getting a big friction story with that. Interesting, eh? I don't know about you, but I wasn't expecting that. No. It's about as good as I can hit it. That just flew two. Same, same thing, it's just it's barely getting to two. Amazing. So if you need to spin your irons more, <laughs> you should buy this golf ball. I mean, there's going to be some people who, who we... Yeah. You know, we'll probably keep a sleeve of those in the Ooh. drawer for that. You know, if we're struggling, some people we get a lot of guys who struggle to spin spin their irons more than high three thousands. Yeah, can't if they get the a bit of that green. shut face, shallow angle of attack, really narrow the spin loft. That's yeah, like I'm I'm not trying to say this is negative by my reaction. I'm just surprised. I just can't believe how much spin there is. I mean, the reality is, if anything, to be honest, it's, it's probably we're talking about trying to control your. Um, your flight a little bit. It's a positive. I mean, we're controlling Perfect, your six it? iron number without increasing your height. Yep. So you've got same ball speed. Your launch is down a little bit. Your spin's up a little bit, but the apex is actually coming out slightly lower. So for me to go out and play, I would actually get a nicer stopping six iron, oh. more playable on a fast, uh, firm surface with this you ball. You would. You absolutely would. That's not what I was expecting. Me neither. Makes ah. two of us, pal. That's cool. Very cool, eh? Okay, so Strix on first with the driver. Z Star driver.
interesting stuff. A lot more difference than we expected, wasn't there? Definitely was. Uh, I don't think we would have thought it was going to be nearly that different. And we, we saw uh, a similarity to the cover that we, you know, we joked at the start. You know, yeah. It looked like the same cover as the Kirkland. Yes. And, you know, in all honesty, with the irons and wedges, it kind of performed Pretty very much was similar the Kirkland, to like that. wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So, you know, with the wedges, we saw a spike of 1,000 RPM with a cut. Yeah, which I don't think either of us were surprised to see. I yeah. think something around 1,000, I thought, I know the Strix mm -hmm. on XV is not the highest spinning ball. <laughs> that cut looks like the Kirkland, so yeah. we knew it was going to zip. But when we went to the 6-iron, that's when we both went, like, what is going on? That was, like, that where's 1,400 RPMs yeah. coming from on 4, the 6-iron? 1,400 RPM. So we kind of uh, obviously thought about your 6-iron. It was going a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. I mean, would I want you spinning at 6,500 with a six arm? Maybe not all the way there, but I mean, it works. It, it, it really stays. It hits the right it. apex. It, it kind of regulates your distance a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, think of things like you know ability to spin it a little out of the rough. You know, oh, your, sure. your ability to to get some stopping power when uh, there's there's other variables in in yeah, uh, wet ball in or mix. something like that. Yeah, that's very interesting. It would be very very interesting. <laughs> well, and then the most. Probably the most interesting uh, thing would be that there was no difference with the driver. Yeah, so when we got to the driver, I mean, we had the quick chat that ideally you'd engineer a ball to not spin yeah. too much on the driver. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly what happened. Yep. But I was still surprised because it spun so much on that six iron. It was bizarre that yeah. it didn't then at least, I mean, whatever that is, 150 RPMs was probably just down to striking. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call it anything. Well, open face. I mean, the, whatever, the, the yeah. cut balls were down the left. The, the ping, uh, sorry, the Z-Star ones were going straight. So they're more or less probably the same. Probably more of that. Yeah, more or less the same yeah. um, performance on the driver and launch and spin. Ball speed, again, mm -hmm. basically the same. Basically the same. But a wedge and six iron performance that was hugely different. If someone's looking for a really spinny ball, mm -hmm. they found it they've, for they've 20 bucks. They've absolutely found it. <laughs> Um, I, and I think there's a, going to be people out there that have been fit and looked, I mean, I, I probably repeat myself here and I can almost hear myself saying it at another time, but people look to shafts mm. to, you know, create spin and launch and all that sort of stuff. The head and the ball will do more than the shaft. Apparently the ball will do more than the anything shaft, can do. The, so. the ball will do uh, way more. Yeah. I mean, there, there isn't a, there isn't a sh two shafts alive on either end of the scale that would give you one being high uh, high launch, you know, or high spin, and one being low launch, low no. spin. That will, that will separate it by fourteen hundred. I was gonna RPMs. say, you can, uh, how could you even get two iron heads at the yeah. same loft? There's I no know. way you could separate it by fourteen hundred no, RPMs. No, no. So this is this is vital, and and obviously getting fit with uh, you know a ball, a ball like this in mind, you know, that's going to give those launch characteristics for you is yep. is awesome. So that is the spin, uh, the cut blue. Yep. They do make a, also make a three-piece one. They, they make the gray as well. They also make a, a more of a distance ball. So mm -hmm. we were just testing the one that is obviously a very spinning yeah. golf ball. So we're not saying all their balls are spinning, but this one certainly is a high it spin really ball. It really is, yep. No, and then value-wise, I mean, looking at that, you, it's hard you, to argue you'd with be it. hard to, it'd be hard to kind of push to persuade someone to, to go and, you know, spend 60, 70, 60 bucks a dozen, whatever it costs. Uh, now, we don't know either. how they would wear over the uh, you know, course of a round. We have no sure. idea about durability. We don't know how consistent one ball is to the next. We don't know those things. And the wind, the aerodynamics, yeah. all to that To be fair, stuff. we don't know that stuff. But if you want to look at a dry ball test, mm -hmm. perform pretty, pretty well for 20 bucks. Good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, I mean, I think that's... That leads us into testing in the field, which we want to do more of in yep. the, the, in the summer, summer anyway when we get on the course. So mm -hmm. uh, I think I think this is a, a kind of another one of those to be continued. And the, sure. these tests probably never stop, really. No, you as know. they should. They should always be evolving, yeah. and you know we'll try them with new clubs, different people on different, the course, different speeds. And that's the one I'm curious about. Let's mm -hmm. let's do this exact same test with people at different speeds, and I'd be very curious to see if okay, you know, someone like. You know, Al or Lindsay, mm. you know, someone around that speed Do they get who's going to be, yeah, they're going to be swinging six iron probably round about, you know, low 80s, something mm. like that. You're swinging six iron today at, you know, 100. Right. Um, so I'll be very, very curious about that. Yep. All right. More to come. Definitely. Okay. This was, uh, this was fascinating, very guys. Yeah. Hopefully, this is showing you the value of a ball fit and, a, and ball testing and doing all this sort of stuff. I mean, I know Cut on their website offer a trial pack and yep. uh, that sort of thing. So you can actually go and just request a sleeve of three, you should. test them, see how they perform for you and 
you know, make your own mind up, do some testing on your course, go out at night when it's you know nice and quiet and you can actually hit a bunch of wedge shots, hit some tee sure. shots, mark your ball up, do, do all those sorts of things uh, out there and, and observe your flight. Does it allow you to sh you know, shape it if that's what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. All those are things that are important when you're playing the right golf ball. Um, but we always over index on uh, wedges and putter. Yeah. That's where you play most of your shots. Oh, for sure. That's where your score comes from. Definitely. So definitely. All right. Cool. Excellent. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.